What's up and welcome to the channel. My name is Hexshot and thank you guys for joining us. Today we're going to talk about motorcycle gear. All right, this is a, a video that's inspired by uh, a couple of the guys I work with, a couple of friends, and everybody has such a strong opinion on this. I'm going to throw mine out there and uh, y'all let me know if I'm completely off base or let me know if you agree with me down in the comments below. Of course, I'd love for you guys to subscribe to our brand new channel here and uh, help us out. Let us get to that goal of a thousand subscribers and try to grow this channel like we did our firearms channel and continue to grow our fire firearms channel, of course. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Motorcycle gear. Now, I think the first thing we need to set the stage on is why do people not wear gear? All right, we're talking about helmets, jackets, gloves, the whole deal. Uh, what I hear most of the time, uh, helmets are too hot. I don't like to wear them. Jackets, I can't stand them in this heat. Um, you know, if I get in a crash, it's not going to do me any good anyways. Uh, if, you know, I've been riding for X amount of time and nothing's ever happened. Yeah, there's a plethora of reasons. And let me go ahead and tell you right now. I do not think there's a law that should tell you, a grown man or woman, that you have to wear this helmet, Okay. I think, I don't, I don't believe that that is the right approach. I think as adults, we should make our opinions and our decisions based around the freedoms we have in this country, you know, the freedom to choose what you want to do with your own body and what you want to do with your life. All right. You want to ride a motorcycle without gear? Do I think it's smart? No, but that's my opinion. Okay. I think the biggest reason, and I see this mainly with older guys, all right, let's just be honest, and most of the time it's cruiser riders, yes, most of the time it's Harley riders. I do see sport bike riders sometimes not riding with gear, but most of the time I see those guys riding gear. But I think what it comes down to, especially with older guys, is that back in the day, helmets and this kind of stuff, they were not comfortable, you know, and and driving is different now, you know, so back in the day, I think I think a lot of older guys just have it in their heads that they've been riding for so long, really, that it's not a benefit to them. And what it comes down to is motorcycle riding compared to car driving is an increased risk right off the bat. So now as each piece of gear you take away from the equation, you're increasing just a little bit your chance of risk. All right, so it's it's really comes down to how much risk are you willing to accept um, on top of the fact that you're riding a motorcycle. Now, there's things that you can do to negate a lot of the risk of riding a motorcycle. I truly believe that. Um, but there's, there's an inherent risk already there. So how much more risk are you willing to take? I think that's something that everybody should ask themselves and come up with their own decisions uh, based on that. But what I'd like to tell you, and let's start with the top down, helmets, all right? So they're too hot, they're uncomfortable, they don't fit my head, you know, I got a big head, I can't fit in the helmet, blah, 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 you know, whatever you hear, whatever the excuse is, helmets are designed so much better now, you can get, you can literally get a helmet to fit everybody's individual head. You can get them with vents, uh, you can get modular helmets that will uh, fold up in the front, but it's still a full face whenever you put it down. So that's going to give you some air when you're at a stoplight. Uh, you can get, you know, open helmets, which again, it's just going to, it's going to add a little bit of risk for your lower jaw. If you go sliding on the asphalt, um, you know, there, there are different helmets and choices that you can, that you can do. Now, of course you want to go with at least a DOT rated helmet. There's Snell approved, of course, which I think is a little bit more stringent in their testing. Um, but you at least want to go with something that has to some extent been tested, you know, because a helmet that hasn't been tested or isn't, you know, approved by safety regulations to an extent, uh, may or may not do you any good anyways. Now, I don't think it's a question, does a motorcycle helmet, is it going to give you a better chance of not having a, a head injury or having a fatal head injury? I think that most people would agree, yes, it's going to give you that. Now, there are some arguments and, and some studies, maybe even, that a helmet won't help you any time over 15 miles an hour, but these studies are so wild, they're so varied, uh, that it's really hard to take that as the, the gospel, all right? I think when you see motorcycle crashes where people have landed on their heads and you see this big uh, gash in the helmet and the person's head is fine, you know, you got to know that the helmet is going to help. You know, it's going to, in some capacity, uh, give you a better shot of not suffering an injury. So the whole, it's too hot, you know, 
uh, we live in one of the hottest climates down in the southeast in the middle of summer. I know what hot is, okay? And I understand this, but when you start getting air through the vents, when you, you know, if I wear sunglasses, so I'll keep my, my visor popped open and I'll keep my sunglasses on to keep the dust and stuff out of my eyes, um, but I still get that wind over my face. There's cold wraps that you can put up around your neck, kind of up under your helmet. So there's all kinds of things that you can do that don't restrict your freedom, which I think is another big reason why a lot of guys don't want to wear gear is because it, it, it kind of takes away from the freedom that you feel, uh, which is the whole reason that we ride motorcycles in the first place is because of the freedom. And I'm spending a lot of time on helmets because this is the most important thing to me. Um, but that takes away from the, the freedom that you feel riding a motorcycle. But you don't have to feel like that. There's a lot of things you can do to still enjoy that freedom and be safe uh, while you're doing it. And then, of course, it's not just the safety aspect. It's the bugs, the dust, the rocks. If you've ever been hit by a rock from an 18-wheeler, all right, when you're behind one on your arm or anything like that or your leg, then imagine getting one of those in the face, all right? That would really suck. So being able to be protected from the things around you as well is another uh, reason that helmets are just a, a really good idea. Now let's go to your hands, all right? This is my second most important safety item that I, that I wear all the time. And you gotta think, the first thing that's gonna happen in case of a crash is you're gonna put your palms down, all right? And palms down without anything protecting them on asphalt Imagine trying to do your job missing every layer of your skin on the bottom of your hand. Even if it's just in one little place on each hand, whatever kind of job you do, imagine doing that. Just driving, all right? You're not gonna want, that's gonna be a really bad few weeks, months, whatever, if in case you have to do that. So, uh, you know, gloves are one of those things. And plus, not only do gloves, not, not only do they protect your hands, you know, you can get the uh, carbon fiber type of deals, the reinforced knuckles, uh, things like that. It, not only is it going to protect your hands in that circumstance, but for me, because my hands get so sweaty, it helps me with my clutch. Now, I ride a street glide, so you know the hydraulic clutch, the friction zone is almost all the way out. All right, when my hands are sweating, if I don't have my gloves on, it, I, I, do, I really don't like manipulating the clutch like that without my gloves on because it doesn't give me a really good grip like, I, like it does whenever I do have my gloves on. So again, the gloves serve more than just protection. Uh, they also make it where working that clutch and my hands get sweaty, I can actually work it and have a, a good grip on the clutch lever um, and the throttle as well. All right, so gloves are my, my second essential item. My third essential is jackets. So jackets, of course, are going to protect your arms, your shoulders, uh, your back in some circumstances. It depends if you have uh, a jacket with armor plating or if you can add armor plating. Uh, this is something that I will typically lose uh, in the afternoons. When I'm coming home, I'll take the jacket off. At that point, my wrist level goes up just a little bit. All right, if I slide and I slide on my arms or I hit my shoulder without the protection of the protective pads, then I'm adding to my risk level. But it, for me, I am willing to do that in 105 degree weather because at that point it just becomes too much. Now, I say that, that's more of an excuse than anything because there are very well vented jackets with the protection that I could get. Uh, but for what I have right now, it's worth it to me to just lose the jacket. I again and am increasing my risk, but jackets obviously provide a very solid foundation in case of a fall, especially ones that have armor plating uh, in, inside of them. Now they are gonna add some bulk and things like that. Of course, you can get really thin jackets with no armor plating. That's gonna provide very minimal, uh, if any, protection to you. Uh, and then you can go all the way up to full armor plating and things like that. And then you have boots and pants. I'm gonna throw these together. My boots are not riding boots, but they're uh, tall 10 inch boots that I wear every single day. They provide me not, not as much protection, again, as like a Kevlar lined boot or something like that. My pants, I don't wear riding pants. I wear regular pants because I'm most of the time I'm going back and forth to work. So at this point is where I start to draw the line, all right? And, and I don't mean this in a bad way, like people that wear, you know, riding pants and riding boots and shin guards and knee guards and back protectors and all this kind of stuff. 
Uh, that's I'm not saying those guys are idiots because they're not, but that's where I draw the line where I start to be, okay, now it's just becoming more of a chore th- to me, all right? That's where I say, okay, I've accepted my level of risk. I have my jacket when it's not 105 degrees outside. I have my gloves. I definitely have my helmet. Definitely helmet and gloves, all right? I do wear boots. I don't wear sandals. I don't wear tennis shoes, and I wear long pants, okay? But they're not riding pants okay and that's where my line is and you have to really decide where is your line where are you going to say okay this is becoming more of a chore to me than what i am willing to put up with otherwise i'm just not even going to ride all right so we of course want people riding we want you riding safely and you have to decide that for yourself okay everybody's different i think the only other thing that i would add besides maybe getting a true pair of riding boots and maybe a pair of pants that I could just throw over my work pants. Those two things I'm okay with. I think the only thing I would add to this that I I would be willing to do is maybe a chest and back protector. Just something I could throw over before I put my helmet on, maybe just buckles around. Uh, I think that would maybe be a good idea, okay? Just just in case of a, of a frontal or a back impact. Um, and, and most of those things are really light, so, so you can still function and feel like you, you still have the freedom, but it, it just may be a good idea uh, down the road. It may even be something I look at and do a video on. So you need to ask yourself at one point, are you willing to say, hey, this is my threshold for where I'm willing to go. I will not ride without a helmet or my gloves. Jacket, again, when it's not, you know, 105 degrees outside, so you have to decide where your threshold is. So, if you've gotten the idea from my video, I think it's a good idea to wear gear. Um, I don't think you have to be geared out all, at least I don't. My opinion, I'm not going to have every single piece of gear known to man on me uh, at all times. All right, my threshold is not there. All right, mine's a a little bit less than that. Uh, But this is just my opinion. I, of course, want to hear what your opinion is down in the comments below. We will see you guys in the next one. And as always, hold them down.